Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Hui Ying and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Pig Lab. In this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of matter. I have prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So let's get started. Question 5. In an experiment, the volume of a marble was measured as shown in the diagram below. Now, the question asks, which of the following would give the volume of the marble? Before we read through the options, we have to first understand how is this setup used to find the volume of the marble. So, this setup actually works like a displacement can. What happens is that the person will fill the baker with water to the brim. After that, he will drop the marble into the beaker of water. Now, my question is, what will happen to the water in the beaker once the person drops the marble into the beaker? We will all know that the water in the beaker will overflow. So, where will it overflow into? It will overflow into the container. Why is it that when we put the marble into the beaker of water, the water will overflow? Marble is a matter. Now, what are the two properties of matter? The first property of matter is that matter has mass. And the second property is that matter occupies space. So, is it because the marble has mass, that's why the water will overflow? Or is it because the marble occupies space in the baker? Hence, the water will overflow. The reason why the water will overflow is because marble occupies space in the baker. So if marble needs to occupy space, it will also need to push away the water that is in the beaker in order to make space for itself. So with that, let's write down the annotation together. So marble over here, it occupies space in the beaker. And when it occupies space, it will need to push away the water in the beaker. But do we say push away the water? No, pushing away the water is not a scientific term. The scientific term would be that the marble displaces the water. This is what causes the water to overflow into the container. So now, as you can see, we have water collected in the container now. How is the volume of the water that is collected in the container related to the volume of the marble? The volume of water collected in the container represents the volume of the marble itself. So now, how do you find the volume of the marble? You just need to measure the volume of the water that is collected in the container. So with that, let's read through the options. Option number one, you measure the volume of the water that is left in the beaker. Now, is statement one correct? Remember, in order to find the volume of the marble, we should measure the volume of the water that is collected in the container itself. Hence, option one is wrong. It should be in the container instead. Now, with that, let's look at option two. Measure the volume of the water collected in the container. Is this correct? Yes, this is correct. Let's look at the other options to make sure that option two is the correct answer. Now, option three, measure the volume of the water needed to fill up the beaker. Is this statement correct? No, it is wrong. Hence, we put a cross at the option. Now, last option, measure the volume of the water needed to refill the container. Is that correct? No, this is wrong as well. So, this helps us to confirm that the answer is actually option two. Thank you for watching and I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!